Don't let the blue screen of death get you down. I will show you how to fix this problem step by step. So let's begin. Now click on advanced options, then select troubleshoot, select advanced options and then select command prompt. It will open command prompt window. Now type chkdsk space slash f space slash r space c colon and hit enter. Then we need to wait for some time to complete the process. Once done, move to the next step. Now we need to type this command c colon and simply press enter. Now we need to type cd space c colon slash and hit enter to execute. Type in cd space windows and press enter. Now type cd system32 and hit enter. Now type cd space config and simply press enter to execute this command. Now type md backup and simply hit enter. Now type copy space star dot star space backup and simply hit enter to execute the command. Now type md space backup1 and simply hit enter. Now type copy space star dot star space backup1 and hit enter. Now type cd reg back and hit enter. Then type dir and simply hit enter. Now type copy space star dot star space dot dot and hit enter. Then type all and hit enter. Type in bootrec space slash fixmbr and hit enter to execute the command. Now type bootrec space slash fixboot and hit enter to execute. Now type in cd space c colon slash and simply hit enter to execute the command. Now type this command cd space windows slash system32 slash config slash regback and simply hit enter to execute the command. Type bcd edit space slash export space c colon slash bcd back backup and simply hit enter to execute this command. Now type cd space c colon slash and hit enter. Now type this command md space boot and simply hit enter. Now execute this command. Type cd space boot and simply hit enter. Now execute this command type md space bcd now type cd space c colon slash and simply hit enter type attrib c colon slash boot slash bcd dash h dash r dash s and hit enter now type ren space c colon backslash boot backslash bcd space bcd dot old then hit enter now type bootrec space slash rebuild bcd and simply hit enter type exit and hit enter now click on continue it will restart your system so that's it guys your problem is solved and you are good to go